Hello and welcome back to the Beefy Tech channel. Well, today's another sad day as Call of Duty remains broken after the Season 4.5 update. Performance is down in the slums and the 1% lows are the worst part about it. Essentially, no matter the game mode, no matter where you are, you're getting less FPS, stuttering, freezing or there's some sort of performance issues with the game. Now yes, this is very well known as I have posted a video about it that did extremely well. 15,000 views, so I thank you guys so much for that. I'm sorry that I had to, you know, get one of my best videos ever out of such a sad and despairing time with Call of Duty where the performance is worse than ever, but uh, we are here today. And I've attempted to do some fixes for this game to essentially make it a bit more playable, but haven't really come up with anything. I've increased my achieved results in the benchmark, but I haven't actually made the game feel any better. Sadly, this means that we have to just wait for Call of Duty to put out a fix. What's funny is that Intel is currently getting shafted significantly harder than AMD, regardless of platform. The 13900K currently cannot draw even close to 100 FPS consistently. Meanwhile, I've seen people with 5600Xs on the Ryzen platform absolutely shafting them and getting above 100 FPS, or if not, at least matching the 13900K. And obviously, things like the 5900X, 5800X 3D, and 7950X 3D and 7800X 3D are doing way better than any Intel CPU at the moment, allowing the systems to actually have playable frame rates even during this time when the game is fully broken. As for why that is, I have no idea, but I do not think I've seen an Intel system that did consistently above 120 FPS within the game as of this season within Vondel and Almazra, but a 7950X3D can indeed easily achieve up to 240 FPS and as low as 160, which is significantly better on the AMD side. But I do have some sad beliefs about what's going to happen in the near future of Call of Duty. As you may all know at this point, the performance has been steadily dropping with every single season. And it hasn't been dropping by an insane amount, but always very consistently by a bit. So we have essentially lost pretty much 12-ish percent performance in the averages since Season 1 and roughly 35% performance in the 1% lows. But as of Season 4.5, there was a drastic performance hit which essentially destroyed everybody's performance and made it unplayable regardless of system. Now, my belief is that they will indeed fix this issue at some point, be it in a week, be it in a day, be it in a month. Hopefully in a day, but you know, it's Call of Duty, they will most likely take their time. I believe that they will not fix it all the way. I believe that they will indeed give us a fixed version of the game that doesn't stutter, but the performance will yet again be lower. The footage you've been seeing in the background is a mix of the RTX 1490 and the 7900 XTX when both were paired with the 7950 X3D. And as you can see, the performance from all of the footage was solid and perfectly good. But yet, here we are in this season with significantly less FPS regardless of map and continuous stutters. I fully believe that even after they fix this, the performance will be worse than ever. And why my point stands on that is because they've consistently done it every season, but I think they've overstepped a bit this season and accidentally destroyed it too much, made it too obvious, and now they've got the backlash. Thing is, if they do it bit by bit, nobody will notice. Or... Well, they think nobody will notice, but the way they've done it now, everybody noticed and all eyes are on them. They'll bring out a fix just to get the press out of the way, people will stop complaining, but the performance will still be lower. It's the classic story of Call of Duty. And as much as I'm a fan of this game, I do hate to see this happen. It essentially forces people into this belief that they need to overclock their computer, optimize it and otherwise upgrade it just to be able to play this one shitty game that is literally thrown into the garbage at the end of every single year. I am one of the people that unfortunately fell for this game's praise and went and supported them by buying an in-game bundle and you know how I got rewarded? In the most beautiful way. Check this out. So, this is part of a pay-to-win bundle I would say because it essentially includes a blue dot for the recharge scope. It's an extremely clean dot and I love it. So I've I've been using this for a while now, okay? I bought the bundle specifically for this and what's funny is that as of season 4.5, they somehow managed to specifically break this one scope that I'm using to where I cannot equip the blue dot anymore. But what's even funnier is that along with that pack came this, a blue dot for the uh, 4X scope, the VLK 4X. 
and I can still use this. But for some reason, in specific, the recharge scope is gone. So yes, me, an avid supporter of this game, is getting repaid with terrible performance and with things that I've literally paid money for disappearing out of my inventory and becoming unable to be used, essentially. So yeah, Call of Duty is a shit show, and the longevity of it is not there. If you're buying a bundle in this game, you're getting pretty much guaranteed that it's going to be worthless by the end of the year when the next Call of Duty releases. I love this game at its core, and I'm a huge Call of Duty fan, and I want to keep playing it, and I want to keep making content on it, on it, because it's what started my passion for optimization. But currently, this game is pissing me off, and I'm assuming it's pissing you guys off too, because I got 15,000 views on the video that I made yesterday on how terrible the performance is, and everybody in the comments section is entirely upset and enraged and refuses to touch this game until they fix the performance issues. But to be honest with you, even if they do fix the performance issues, just think about it for a second. They let this happen, they did no testing, and yet it's still not fixed a day and a half to two days later, and they're probably not going to fix it in the next week, knowing how they function. So, Call of Duty doesn't care about us. In my opinion, we shouldn't care about Call of Duty. I'm not here to start a boycott. I'm just saying, go outside, do something, play a different game, virtually anything but Call of Duty, and you'll have a fun time, or at least a better time. Anyway guys, sorry for the negative video, but Call of Duty's been in a rough spot lately, and I just had to put this video out too to explain a bit of my frustrations. With that said, I hope to see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're also pissed off with Call of Duty, because I will continue roasting them every time they fuck up. Do not worry. With that said, have a good one, and bye-bye.